What's going on, everybody? It is December 26th, the day after Christmas. Um, I hope everybody had a good holiday. Unfortunately, there are no breaks in DFS. We have eight games tonight. Um, not the most interesting of slates, but eight games nonetheless. And I do want to give a shout out to JL Truce, who took down uh, the FanDuel free roll yesterday. Uh, my lineup was absolutely trash. Um, and we want to give a shout out to Mamandus, <laughs> which I'm probably butchering. Uh, crushed the the DK free roll. Took beat 82 people. Uh, or 81, I guess, not including themselves. Uh, big W there. So if you guys can both reach out to me um, either in the comments or uh, you know on Twitter or email and get me some information like PayPal information or you know Venmo information whatever is best for you uh, I'll get you your uh, free roll winnings but congratulations to both of you now let's get into the breakdown first game up on the slate Dallas Mavericks uh, hosting the Raptors Mavs Five and a half point underdogs. They have a 101.75 implied total, which would be 12th on the slate. Not going to be a ton here that we're super interested in. I already have this one loaded. It's just not that kind of game. Not going to be. Uh, not going to be a biggie. Um. Yeah, nothing really jumping out right out of the. Right out of the gate. I guess Harrison Barnes a little bit. Barnes is 6,300 on FanDuel, 6,200 on DK. Um, you know, he needs to get to 30. I actually don't hate Harrison Barnes there. But that's probably the extent of it all. Um, I don't want any of the guards. You know, it doesn't seem like a great West Matthews game. Nobody has any like crazy value on one side or the other. So I think it's easy to just keep going. Um, on to the Raptors now. Raptors 107.25 implied total, which would be third on the night. Um, if you've been watching this, you know it's either going to be a Lowry night or a DeRozan night. We're about to find out which one's which. Got a lot of new uh, athletic swag. The wife picked me up a couple, a couple sweet NBA shirts. Got a fresh pair of Jordans. It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a good 2018. Feel it. Ooh, it might be a Lowry and DeRozan night. More DeRozan than Lowry, though. Okay. Lowry on FanDuel, 8,200. Lowry on DK, 8,200. DeMar is basically the same price on both sites as well. Yeah, I prefer DeRozan, um, but I like them both. I'll probably have like two to one DeRozan to Lowry, if I had to guess. And then after that, I guess I really need to take a look at Surge. 6,400 on FanDuel, 5,800 on DK. So he needs 32 on FanDuel for value. Add. Oh, let's change that filter up. All right, Surge. Three of his last six have hit that mark. Um, I think that's a good game to take a look at. Getting a chunk of Lowry, DeRozan, and Ibaka will be 
the baseline of a bunch of my lineups, I would guess. Off to the Pistons now. Um, Pistons, 104.75 implied total, which would be sixth on the night. I don't expect to like anything here, but we'll see. Pacers. And a bad paste, so sounds like the perfect time to drink. Okay. We want to look at everybody but Drummond, I guess. How are the Pacers at rebounding? Not the best offensive rebounding team, not the best defensive rebounding team. Okay. Oh. Drummond at 93, I just, like, he could obviously have a big game, but I don't see this being a spot where I just want to go crazy on him. If he had, like, a value price or something, maybe. So then we want to look at Bullock. You know, everybody in this little group here, I think. Man, this is a, I don't really love anything here. Tolliver at 3,900 on DK is kind of interesting. He needs 20 for 5x. It's kind of like a ceiling. Who are we looking for here? Detroit. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody's sort of right where I would expect them to be. Nobody really standing out as anything, you know, amazing. I don't, I feel like I'm forcing it here, but, you know, sixth implied total, not too shabby. Reggie Bullock needs 20 got three out of his last four would have been high value games you know they do give up a little bit extra in the three game so I think Reggie Bullock is worth uh, you know he'd be a good fit in the middle of a lineup to open up some other stuff I guess you know I think value play isn't necessarily the strongest word for it because he's kind of priced where he's supposed to be but I like that 3800 price on DK. And the shooting guard small forward eligibility is really helpful. That allows that opens things up a little bit further. Now we'll go to Indiana. Um, Pacers 102.75 implied total which would be ninth. And we want to look at everybody here. Yeah, we want to look at everybody. Okay. Oladipo, mid nine salary. You're going to need like 48. No, Avery Bradley is good for them. He's had two 50 point games in his last three. Uh, it should be close. He should get a ton of burn. He's had a couple days off. I've become a believer in Victor Oladipo, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not late to the party. But I think he's in a really good spot. And he's going to slowly but surely climb from a talent perspective in, uh, in my projections. Um, so much of what he's done is based on rates that he's just... You know, he's better than so far. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm perfectly okay with Oladipo. Uh, I don't necessarily see the appeal of Boyan. 
Well, let's look at Thad and Miles Turner. Thad, 5,600 on FanDuel, 5,800 on DK. I don't see it tonight. Miles Turner, 8,400 on FanDuel, 6,700 on DK. They're just not replacing his salary, or not updating his salary. It's 40 points. Like, even at, he hit 6x on 40, let alone 51. Um, so, Miles Turner for sure. And on DK, he's. I think it's DK only. You don't want him at 8,400. That's just a silly price. But at 6,700, you have to have a ton of Miles Turner. You just do. It's a math problem. Um, where are we at? Next game. This whole Christmas holiday has me mentally jumbled. Okay, we're on to the heat and magic. Um, this is taking a shot in the dark for this game. The line is made up. There's like 25 injured guys. There's no telling who's really going to play, so I'm going to detail out what I have right now. Everything that I'm saying for this game is solely dependent on whether that injury news holds up or not. So for, uh, for the Heat, Whiteside is expected to play. Um, no waiters... No James Johnson. Everybody else. Oh, no Winslow. Everybody else is in. Um, it's just going to be a tricky game. It's, it's the one you need the most, the most help on, on both sides. I've got the Heat favored by four. Um, middle of the pack. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Implied points. Nothing terribly amazing here I would have loved to take a look at white side but I mean that's not I don't think that's feasible I don't think that you really want too much of Olenek or BAM although BAM on DK is a sneaky play at 4100 I like BAM um on DK, if for some reason Whiteside doesn't play, or if they if we get some news very specific to this game, forty one hundred is probably a little too low for somebody that gets the minutes that he does. He gets you, you know, like he could put up thirty. It's a big game. Wayne Ellington on DK thirty nine hundred. He should still be getting a ton of minutes. I, I like that in a GPP setting. 4600 on FanDuel is probably a little pricey for me. I don't think that I'd take anything else on here. Um, so let's go to Orlando. There's another one where it's everything is sort of a guess. The assumption right now is Aaron Gordon is in, uh, Jonathan Isaac in, Fournier in. But I have no confidence in any of this. The only spot we really need to pay attention to, um, full stop, doesn't really matter uh, what how the news breaks, um, or at least you know it it shouldn't really matter. But Biombo is going to get you know a gigantic minutes bump now that Vooch is out with a broken hand, um, so we need to look at Biombo. And I'm willing to look at Jonathan Simmons, too, since this game seems to fit him pretty well. Simmons is 6,300 on FanDuel, 7,100 on DK. So I think he's only in play on FanDuel. But Biombo is 4,400 on FanDuel. He's 3,800 on DK. He's going to play starter minutes at center, so... Um, I think you need to have little bits of him just because of the value. You rarely get starting centers under 4,000, so, or DK in particular. That's all I need from this game. There's too many variables. Two Milwaukee uh, Bucks hosting the Bulls. 108.5 implied total, which would be second on the night. Um, that's pretty interesting to me. I'm. 
I'm intrigued by seeing where this goes. I, obviously, I haven't looked at anything yet, um, but I like the idea of this. You know, the assumption is Giannis plays, so. Yeah, we're gonna like Giannis too. So Giannis is in for me. I think with that pace of the game, um, he might be my favorite stud. Bledsoe, mid sevens. So he needs like 38. I don't think that's the spot for him. Middleton, 8,000 on FanDuel, 8,400 on DK. He needs 40 plus. Um, I don't necessarily see that as the best use of him. Brogdon, 5,300 on FanDuel, 4,800 on DK. So he'll need 25 ish. Um, I don't mind him on the second unit, actually. I would want a little bit of Brogdon. And I'll pass on Henson and Maker, McCor, if you will. I was expecting a little bit more there. Oh well. Bulls, 102.5 implied total, which would be 10th on the night. I have a feeling I, I made some minutes adjustments for the Bulls baselines today. I have a feeling they're not going to be as appealing. We shall see who gets to the rim for them. Nobody. Okay. So Justin Holiday, Denzel Valentine, neither of them get to the rim, which would be helpful. Rolo, Chris Dunn, David Nwaba. I don't know, this isn't going to look terribly good. Chris Dunn, 7,400 Fandle, 7,000 DK, so, you know, 37-ish. Um, I, don't, I don't see it there. I don't want Jerry and Grant. I don't see any appeal in Justin Holiday or Denzel Valentine. I keep whiffing on David Nwaba. And he's not really getting, you know, sporadic minutes. I don't want anything here. Everybody's salary is sort of normalized, so I'm, I'm going to pass on the Bulls. To the Spurs we go. Spurs, 109 implied total. First on the night, they are hosting the Nets. Um, and they are... 11 point favorites so uh, use your discretion here it's always difficult to grab spurs Ooh, okay gotta look at Lamarcus And we'll chip our way down from there. So Aldridge is 8,400 on FanDuel, 8,500 on DK. So he needs 42 on FanDuel, a little bit more on DK. He just hit 42 in his last game, but this should be a game where he can feast. Uh, I really like LaMarcus Aldridge tonight. Pow, 6,000 and 6,400. That I don't love. But two straight 40-point games, three straight games over 30. I can't do it. Parker and Mills are just value plays based on their efficiency. I don't really... I don't have a ton of interest there. Although maybe I should... I just don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust the minutes. I don't trust anything, really. Nobody has, like, a crazy off salary. Except for FanDuel, I guess. If you want to play POW at center in FanDuel, I, I would understand that play. But I think I'm just going to do, uh, stick with 
Aldridge. I don't really know where else to go. Like, I can't go Kyle Anderson or Danny Green or Manu. No Kawhi, no Rudy Gay. So it's basically just Lamarcus, Powell, and the two point guards. Um, let me look at them first. Yeah, maybe it's a Tony Parker day. Maybe I'm wrong there. He's been playing well, increased minutes. I think it might be in my best interest to have a, a little bit of Tony Parker. Now we go to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. That's my new name for them. Not funny. Um, Brooklyn, 98 point implied total. It's dead last on the slate. Um, without there being like some sort of major disaster here, I can't imagine thinking anything looks good for Brooklyn. You should not have more than one guy here. Um... And even that's probably too many. Yeah, maybe Hollis Jefferson. Or Damari Carroll. Okay, Dinwiddie at 6,300 on DK. Since they don't, since they insist on not moving his price, um, you kind of need to pay attention to him. I'm going to say that he is DK only, though. Hollis Jefferson, 7,100 on FanDuel, 5,900 on DraftKings. Um, so you have to have him, I guess, half. Okay, so when I say have to have him, I mean like you need pieces of him. He's not, they're not like great plays, but it's hard to avoid guys when they're priced $1,000 off of their other site or off of the other site. Tamari Carroll, 5,900 on FanDuel, 5,000 on DK. So. He needs 30 to hit 6x. He's done that in basically three straight. So, again, um, I like Damari Carroll. What I'll probably... That's not spelled right. What I'll probably do is rotate one Brooklyn guy across most of my lineups. I don't want any part of Levert or Crab. Although I probably should. Levert needs 30 for 6x, and Crab needs 24 for 6x. Um, I feel like I'm forcing it. One of those guys is probably going to go off, but whatever. Can't have too many of them. Can't like the whole team. There's a reason they're 11 point underdogs. To the Nugs. Uh, Nuggets 105 implied total, which would be fifth on the night. They are hosting the Jazz. Jazz with the second worst implied total. Fire up some Nugs. I'm excited for the new year. Get the energy back. Okay. Probably going to avoid Gary Harris, but we'll see. We want to look at Chandler, Jokic, and Murray, though. Murray, 6,100 and 5,900. So let's just say he needs 30. Um, not my favorite spot against the Jazz. Gary Harris is 6,400, basically on both, so he needs at least 32. He's playing the minutes, but he hasn't had any ginormous games. Um, I actually like Gary Harris there. Chandler, 5,000 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DK. Uh, he's been playing pretty well. Um, I don't see any reason to just ignore him tonight. Especially with them having the fifth highest implied total. Trey Lyles, 5,300, 4,500 on DK. Um, I'm going to assume that he still looks great. Needs 26. 
It's been right in that mid 20s range. Uh, there's no value there. Jokic, 8,900 on FanDuel, 7,900 on DK. Uh, absolute play on DK. He needs 45 on FanDuel. I'm okay with it. Just because of no Gobert. But he's going to look really good on DK for $1,000 cheaper. Go to Utah, where I don't expect to love anything except for maybe Donovan Mitchell. Jazz, 99.5 implied total. Second worst on the uh, night. Just, uh, it's underwhelming at best. That's going to be a bad copy. Went too far. We want, to, <clears throat> we want to look at Mitchell. I think that's, you know, there's not too much there. Rodney Hood and Ingles, I guess. I don't want to go too much further than that, although I'll probably look at Rubio on FanDuel. Rubio on FanDuel needs 26. You know, he's had a couple 30-point games. Uh, Denver not exactly one for um, point guard defense. So I'll say Rubio is in play on FanDuel. I don't want to go up to 5,800 for DK. Donovan Mitchell, uh, 7,200 and 7,300, so needs 36-ish. Uh, put up 39 in his in his return. Not really worried about Denver defense, so I'm okay with Donovan Mitchell. And that's probably it. I'm good on Ingles. Uh, favors is 5,600 on FanDuel, 59 on DK. So let's just say he needs 30. I don't see it. I'm, I'm good on Utah in that particular game. And we'll go Phoenix, hosting the Memphis Grizzlies. The atrocious Phoenix Suns, um, 102.25 implied total, which would be 11th. Big news here. The expectation is that Devin Booker will be back today. Um, I don't think that Booker is playable, in my opinion, coming back. I mean, I might have a... We'll see how this shakes out. I could have a bullet or two in a GPP, but other than that, this is not the game um, you're looking for. It's not even a good Booker game. Uh, Bender and Cannon are probably the only two guys I'm going to look at here, and I probably won't look at either of them. Uh, Cannon's price is in the mid fours now, so I'm fine. I don't want Booker. I don't think TJ oh, Warren at 6,900. So he needs 42 for 6x on DK, which he's done in two of his last three. He's been playing really well. Um, I'll entertain TJ Warren on DK, but that's it. I don't have any interest in Bender at 3,400. He's just, he's not a lot. I mean, he doesn't do anything on the floor. It's incredible. And no thank you on Len or Chandler. So we'll go to Memphis. Memphis, 103.25 implied total, which would be eighth on the night. They are one-point favorites in Phoenix. Um, assuming Gasol plays, you just don't really want much here. <laughs> it's hard to find yourself like interested in anybody on the Grizzlies. Except for Marc Gasol, who looks awesome here. 8,600 and 8,700, so he needs 43 at the minimum. He's been over 40 in his last four. Suns don't really have a lot of post defense. How did Gasol play against them recently? Because I'm pretty sure they just played not too long ago. They did. Gasol put up 41. Yeah, I mean, I'll, it's worth having him. Tyreeks, 8,500 on FanDuel, 8,600 on DK. That's just too costly in my opinion. He needs 
42 on FanDuel. She's been there in three of his last four, including the 60-pointer right just before Christmas. I just I don't like that price. Now for that team. Andrew Harrison on DK, 4,100. So he needs, you know, like 20, 24 to hit major value. He got 32 minutes again recently. No Chalmers. If we have news that no Chalmers, or Chalmers won't be playing, then I'd like Harrison, but I don't want to force feed any Grizzlies. And then last game on the slate, uh, Clippers and Kings. Clippers, five-point favorites over the Kings at home. Clippers would be fourth in implied total. Um, going to be a sneaky sneaky game for value, maybe? Especially on the, the clip side. So, Lou Williams. We want to look at Austin Rivers. CJ Williams, Jamil Wilson. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to like here. So Rivers, 6,600 on both sites would be 33. Um, he's been over that in the last three, including a 45-point game and a 50-point game. So I'm okay with Austin Rivers. Not my favorite play in the world, but got to look at it. Lou Williams, 7,600 and 7,600. I'm just going to mark it down. I, I love it. I don't really want anything of Teo on FanDuel, but on DraftKings, uh, he's only 4,600. That's a 23.5x mark. Um, I'll, I'll at least want a little bit of that just because of the implied total. CJ Williams is under four. Um, I don't think he has the ability to like just go ham, so no thanks there. Jamil Wilson, same sort of scenario. I don't want to force it. And then DeAndre, 83, so he needs 40 and change. Uh, this most recent game was his, his worst. How are the Kings on the boards? I assume atrocious. Just not very good. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm forcing it if I go after DeAndre there. Something to look at later. Then the Kings. Last game on the slate. Look at them, those middle tier guys. George Hill, 4,800 and 4,600. He's been getting a lot of extra minutes. So um, let's just say he's 25. He said three games over that. Not a lot of point guard defense on the other side of the ball. So let's look at Bogdan or Temple. Bogdan, 4,400. So he needs 20. Um, I don't like that. Temple needs 20. I do like that. He's been playing extra minutes lately. Zebo 6,000 on both sites would be 30. Could be in for a, a decent game. Like a little sprinkling of, uh, of kings. Hold up. Okay, I'm back. Had to quick take the quick little tiny break. Yeah, I think that's it um, for everything here. That's a pretty tiny short list for eight games. I just don't, I don't really love anything. Let's see what pops up here. This is going to be a DraftKings optimization to start. We'll see how it shakes out. Um, I expect this to look... I, see, I expect to see, you know, some Spencer Dinwiddie, 
some uh, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, some Miles Turner for sure, is my guess. Let's hit it. Oh, I didn't put any randomization on it. I think I always need a little skosh. 5% always feels right. Ten lineups of Jokic, ten lineups of Andrew Harrison, which makes me feel like Harrison's probably a little high. Giannis, Willie Cauley Stein, Zebo, Lyles, Brogdon. Okay. There's Miles Turner. I like it. It's an interesting line. I would I would probably lock out um only doing one king. I don't think that's a game where you want to have a bunch of guys. Same for uh, Brooklyn. So I should probably do that as well and get a, get an idea of how that looks. And I'm going to not have 10 or 100% of... What's the name I'm looking for? Andrew Harrison. I'm going to limit him to just 30% of this optimization. We'll see where it lands there. So that looks a lot better to well I don't want Brogdon and Giannis or I'd like a solo Giannis lineup. Something like that. Parker, Donovan Mitchell, Giannis, Dirk, Jokic, Teodosic, Cauley Stein, Lyles. Okay. I could deal with that. Let's take a look at what FanDuel looks like. And then we'll get out of here because I've been blabbing on long enough. We'll get back to uh, live streams Thursday night. We'll be the first one back, um, and I'll do one Thursday and Friday, I would believe. I don't think I'll have one Saturday, but we'll see. I just immediately want to lock that to one and that to one. Harrison, Parker, Lou Williams, Mitchell, Giannis, Denzel, Zebo, Favors, Gasol. That's a decent decent way to build. A lot of Mitchell, a lot of Zebo. You know, Giannis as the stud. I mean, I think Giannis is just like far and away the the lock today. So this is this chart I'm looking at is FanDuel. Um, so you know we've got. Andrew Harrison for sure. It's I gotta look this up. Um is Chalmers just hurt. He's not listed anywhere. News like he's not He doesn't have like a thing next to his name. I don't know. So it looks like you want to have some combo of like Chalmer or well, Andrew Harrison and then whatever you want at point guard. Lowry. Um, I mean, there's not a lot to like it. I think hunting point guard on FanDuel is the play. You basically want Lowry, Rivers, Teodosic, Rubio, Hill, or Parker along with Andrew Harrison, who I'm putting in here now because I have to. I'm obviously missing something. But yeah, I mean, point guard, you don't really need to pay up. You can do Harrison and Rubio and save yourself some money, or Harrison and, you know, my boy Goron do that. Then shooting guard, it's just everything at the top. So I think... Oladipo, DeRozan, Lou Williams, and Mitchell. I would probably do like Lou Williams and somebody. And then, okay, so Gian, Giannis is 100%. I mean, he's going to be in 80% of my lineups. Um, He's the lock of all locks at small forward. There's no one within 25 points of him, basically. 
Then at power forward on FanDuel, you're looking at Aldridge and Zebo is going to be huge. You could sprinkle in some Derek Favors if you want. And then at center, um, I think you just roll out the randomizer and take a stack of Jokic, Gasol, you know, DeAndre, Willie Cauley Stein, Pau Gasol. Whoa. A lot of options there. That's it for me. Um, as I said at the beginning, uh, shout out to Mamandus. If there's a different way that I'm supposed to say that, my bad. Um, and shout out to JL Truce, uh, the two winners of the DK free roll and the FanDuel free roll. So, like I said, uh, comment section or Twitter or you know Reddit or email, whatever is easiest for you. Just reach out. Uh, give me whatever method is best to... Uh, get you guys your money and uh, your winnings for the Josh Engelman Christmas Spectacular free rolls. That's all I got. Um, you know, like, subscribe. You guys know the drill at this point. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for a breakdown video or a strategy video. Um, and then Thursday we'll be back for live for locks. But until then, uh, continue to enjoy your Christmas holiday if you're still off. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow.